Yada, the lioness, with her cub. His cub named Mojo. It was five days since he last ate. It was rainy season. It took hours of stalking her prey. But this time, it was a word talk, but t this time with deadly tusks. Sneaking down and going for the prey was easy for Niara the lioness. She was about to jump at the vertog. She was poised perfectly. Vertog turned back around for eating the grass. Niyadi the lioness stand up. She jumped at the vertog and then she just got the, the vertog down. The bowl was heavy as she was. Now she must drag the the boar into the cover. It should take a lot of strength to drag him into cover. She turned around and took the boar home. The cub which was waiting for her mother to bring the food. He got up and go towards the top when his mother came with a dead wee tusked talk. He ate all the meat from out of the vertog. He was so hungry that he ate five weeks ago that he ate the whole vertog until the bones came out. Sooner that sooner that day it started to rain, but she was out of her pride. She was out of her den, but she had no protection for the cub to get wet, but if she would enter in a den, in the den, the lions don't, don't allow the cubs inside, or if they would let the cubs inside, they'll kill them. She got the cub in her mouth and she started to go into the den. She took the bird in the secret. She go to the den with her baby. The cave is here. She hide her cup into the grass. And then she went to the cave. The lion which came and saw her cup hiding under the grass. He attacked, but the lioness he sneaked over, but he couldn't go over through the lioness witch to kill her cub. Lioness fight back. Some of the scratch came to a lion, but he attacked too. He attacked. Linus. Linus 
got scratched too, and lion killed the lioness to death. The rain was stopped, and the lioness was dead. The lion cub came and saw her mother dead. He cried a lot. After twelve months, he was a lion. He knew he was hiding under the grass, and he knew who killed the lion. Miss her mother. He go to the lion which attacked her lioness. He attacked the lion which killed the lioness. The other lion know why did he come back. So he attacked too. And the other lion too. In the fight, the lion which killed the lioness got down. The lion which got down was killed. And then the lion went back home. Hyenas came and they all ate the lion. They finished the whole lion. They eat the lion to bones. Then they went home. It's been days now since it was 20 years. Niara's body was over there, still by with the old scratch, which wasn't blooded. It was black now. After 20 years, the bone of the lion which hyenas killed was over there. But it flied away in the sum of the winds and then got somewhere else. Niara only died with the black scratch. But the lion which tried to attack her cub got killed by Another grown lion which was a cub to get the revenge by Niara. And then the hyenas ate it towards to the bones. The bones. 